President Obama meets at the White House this morning with congressional leaders from both parties, and he's ready to make a historic offer on Social Security, part of a deal to cut the federal budget and raise the government's debt limit. CBS News senior White House correspondent Bill Plant has the very latest for us this morning. Bill, good morning. Morning, Erica, and the president has raised the stakes for today's meeting. Sources here say he's ready to make an offer for a dramatic restructuring of the entire federal fiscal outlay. It that could include cuts in all the major entitlement programs, including Social Security, in exchange for a tax overhaul. Now, he's already floated this idea to the Republican leadership, but publicly at least, they still remain skeptical about what they're going to hear today. I hope that there'll be some kind of breakthrough tomorrow. Maybe he could begin by telling us what he has in mind. Um, we've had a difficult time trying to get a clear proposal out of the uh, president and his people. Yes. At a town hall meeting where questions for the president came via the Twitter social network, Mr. Obama continued to warn that if the U.S. can't pay its bills, there will be dire consequences. And it could cause a whole new uh, spiral into a second recession or worse. So this is something that we shouldn't be toying with. The president repeated his demand that a deal to cut the budget and extend the debt limit must be balanced with everything on the table. The debt ceiling should not be something that is used as a gun against the heads of uh, the American people to extract tax breaks for corporate jet owners or oil and gas companies. House Republican leader Eric Cantor told reporters that his party would be willing to talk about tax breaks. If the president wants to talk loopholes, said Cantor, we'll be glad to talk loopholes. In the Senate, Republican John McCain urged an end to some of the biggest loopholes. Additionally, we should eliminate all agricultural subsidies, including sugar programs, in corporate welfare, in tax breaks for corporations, for things like corporate jets. If we seriously looked at, corporate, at curbing corporate subsidies, all Americans would benefit. Democratic officials familiar with the negotiations, as they prefer to be known around here, say that the president is now looking at something not just at $2 trillion, which is the number that was floating out there, but more like $4 trillion, and that he's going to tell Republicans that this would be an opportunity for both parties to tell the voters that they had done something historic to restructure the nation's debt. Erica? Bill Plant at the White House. Bill, thanks. I like that terminology, by the way.